All right, so first I wanna say thank you to everyone from Holistic who have come to me for a hand analysis. This is an extraordinary community and uh, especially Alejandra and Elena. This extraordinary couple is who I wanna talk about, about their ability read the frequency as it shows in the hands. So first I'm gonna start off with, if you're just watching and you're new to Holistic, they have an ability to read the frequency of your life. So I'll talk about how they're able to do this from a biological point of view, that the hands show a life pattern and skills and talents that people particularly have through uh, a neurology that is mirrored in their hands. So Elena has these long fingers and long palms, but if you look at the quality of the lines in her hands, it looks like she has uh, been shocked with electric shock therapy. It's just like a lightning coming through all of the palms. And if you look at people that are in the research areas like Carl Jung, or Dr. Richard Feynman, a Nobel physicist. These people are working in the cutting edge. So that's how she is as a person. First, she has what is called Solomon rings, and these are these horizontal lines underneath the index finger. And many therapists have this. It's a neurological way in which you are um, examining at a deep, deep level someone's potential. Second, she has these vertical lines underneath the pinky and this is the part of the brain that is uh, in diagnostic and questioning and, and solving problems and the deeper it goes down it's uh, the more intuition a person uses and finally she has a headline that comes uh, from here and it doesn't stop it goes all the way off to the area which uh, since the Greeks they've called this region in the outer palm the moon so what's happening there is that when it comes time for her to form an opinion, she's channeling different frequencies and she's looking at many different perspectives of energy and reality in order to form that conclusion. Now, she meets Alejandro and Alejandro, her partner, has the same handshake but without all of these lines. So it's a very neutral hand, you know, there's only three main lines and a very vertical line that goes right up the middle finger called a fate line or it's a way that the brain likes a lot of routine and structure. So what's interesting about Alejandro is that he has this really extraordinary long pinky. For example, people with all the long pinkies, you'll see that they all have a, a, a phenomenal ability to think strategically and to think six steps ahead. So when you combine that with this particular hand shape of an already intellectual character, we have a Sherlock Holmes who thinks in numbers and is able to work in patterns. So he's able to translate the interpretations of what Elena is doing into a very viable form, in a very structured uh, form, to a frequency, to a number, right? And what's also interesting as between these two is the fingerprint pattern, which is both of them have an extraordinary combination. If they have waves on all their fingers and they have six of those, which means that all those people have a love connection. They have a need to express their life and the meaning of their life is through relationships and they have this upside down T formation in at least two of their fingers. That shows a need to explore wisdom. And then finally, they have just an arch, there's just nothing there. Normally, people have one of those three, they have all three functioning. So it has, of course, it has a shadow side, which is everything seems like it's always under repair. So they've gone fully into that area to develop this program. Uh, the other part, if many of you have a partner that you're interested in getting a hand analysis for to see if you're compatible or maybe how to uh, make the relationship compatible. And when you look at them as a couple, you'll see that there, there's a synergy between them. And that's explained through uh, a line that is developed when you develop your first facial expression. So Elena has a heart line that goes way up to the top. So it's like a, a bigger smile. Uh, people with a very uh, strong heart line have a very passionate, intense nature and a need for excitement. Alejandro has 
something that's very conservative, like the Heartline that just stops, or Brad Pitt, you know, it just goes right there and they have a more stoic, reserved nature. So that's a more, very supportive nature. And of course, you don't want two passionate people coming together in the relationship. Somebody needs to be the supportive one and someone needs to be the passionate person relying on somebody to be the supportive and to explore ideas. So that's a great chemistry. And when I'm reading for couples, I'm often looking at that heart line to see how are they communicating. And there are, of course, different heart lines that show that combination. So uh, together, you see that they're on a soul path as well as a personal path uh, that is uh, a very enjoyable path uh, together. By studying what causes people to have huge breakthroughs in their life and relating that to the hands, I can look at your hands and see what is your potential breakthrough. If you're interested, visit me at thepowerinyourhands.com.